All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 with the RG at Dynasty Part 74. And today, we start our journey with High Priest Petros Magnana and his wife, Empress Tazdate, who I went ahead and barbershopped real quick. He's actually an incredible warrior. 63 prowess. He's not messing around. The wife has 24, which is something. <clears throat> so we have so much to get ready. Um, today. We're, that's gonna be a lot of what we're doing. First, let's take a look at our lifestyle. We have martial perks, and that's it. Fair enough. And we have Gallant already finished, and we're working on the Overseer path. Also fair enough. Let's go Chivalry, just like always, which gives us three more prowess, bringing him to 66, because he's an aspiring Blade Master. Okay, Petros, I see you. <coughs> All right, vast limit of 74. No, 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 that's incorrect. Something's gone wrong. Um, that's right, we're the wrong culture right now. We need to switch that ASAP. Um, convert to local culture, we can't do it because we're at war. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh my god. That, we need to fix that ASAP. Let's hold court. Uh, let's hold that in a sec. Council positions. We lost everybody! Oh no! Inokientos the strong. Okay. Steward. Marcos the hunter is it important. And he's the best. Perfect. Even though he's 79, he probably won't be there for long. Margarita the beautiful is 32, and that's good enough for me. And then Spymaster. Jordanes the brilliant is 17. No, we need to go with Yosef the handsome. Sorry, our powerful vassal is going to be a little upset about that one. Mayor Herothios, thank you. Yeah, well, this is what we have all this gold saved up for, is for when we go over a vassal limit like this. This one will be temporary, because as soon as these wars are over, we're going to be able to go back to and change our culture. But for now, yeah, we've got some work ahead of us. Okay, uh, Queen Nana the Fair of Italy is our vote for the next heir, obviously, because that's our daughter. And then the Kingdom of Sardinia is going to her for sure, because we're the only one who gets to vote on that one. Reclaim Rome is never happening. We can right-click that. Um, above Domain Limit. Yeah, his stewardship's not very good. It's 12. I'm sure we have a county we don't need, though. Um, <laughs> none of those, though. Is it? Is there stuff up here that we have? Um, what were we the king of before? I don't... What? I'm confused. What land do we own? Hold up now. Torto I know Tortoli. I can just read them, actually. Let me let me just read them. My titles. Okay. Tortoli Athol. I don't know that one. Aha! That's one we can hand off. There you go. There we go. Okay. So now we're under vassal limit, or domain limit at least. <clears throat> Nothing major we need to do here. We can usurp the duchy of... Okay. Sure. Sure. We need to work on our prestige and our piety a lot too, because Petros isn't a living legend or a religious icon. Not even close. He's illustrious and a devoted servant. He's got a long way ahead of him. But he's a healthy guy. And uh, we do need to change our books to martial books. Andalusian Art of Strategy is pretty good, plus 30% martial. Probably won't get better than that. In fact, I'll click on it right now. And then we'll see if we find something better, but I doubt it. We had a 40% of something, but I think, I think it was diplomacy or something, not martial. Marshal 15, that's not that great. Um, there's a Vassal Limit book. That is pretty good, actually, to have a Vassal Limit book. Let's keep that in mind. Master of Game, 3 Brow S, why not? 20% Warfare book. Bodpa about warfare. Heavy cavalry toughness and 30%. Oh yeah, that's the one. 
Just checking the big ones real quick. Yeah, it's a learning one we have. That's 40%. Okay. Crime and punishment. Yeah, okay. Definitely. Go with, um... Go with the Budpa about warfare. Perfect. And that'll help him a lot as well. Let's hold court. Our first holding court as High Priest Petros Magnana. Gesture for them to approach. Let's see what they have to say. They're hanging us, hounding us. We, we can keep order, my lord, please. We can organize ourselves without all the death. Okay, so it's one of these where Captain Zene is trying to take control that way. What kind of personality do we have here? Let's get into the mind of Petros Magnana. And what's our stress level right now, too? Zero, halfway to one? Okay. We are just, so we're a fair ruler. We are fickle, so we don't exactly stick to our decisions. And we're paranoid, which is good for our safety, but doubles our stress gain and makes us a little less work good at um, pleasing people in our vassals. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, he is just. So, curious idea, let's try it. King Zenobios approaches me with a straighter posture than usual, visibly eager about what he has to say. My liege, the people in your realm need the occasional joyous gathering where they can forget their stresses. I would gladly finance a feast, even if held under your name, as it's for the good of the Roman Empire, but I would duly expect a favor and recompense. Um, I'm not giving you a weak hook. Perhaps we can arrange something more agreeable. Um, King Zenobius agrees to renege on the, re on the request of a favor. He disagrees and withdraws their offer to pay. Uh, if 77% chance, he's just going to pay for it. Feast under your name. He agrees. Thank you. My lord, begins my vassal, Duchess Majuna, looking very contrite. The last period has been really tough on my domain. Extra expenses were required on every front, and my coffers are sadly empty. It pains me to... Uh-huh, sure they are. But I resolve to appeal to your munif munificence for help in paying off my debts. I will not forget your generosity in my time of need. Here will you owe me? Um, as my high honor teacher's charity is the way the pious. Debt means bad administration. Is Gidea helper? I'll take. I'll pay you off for a hook. There you are. As the last petitioner departs, various courtiers follow them out of the room, having business to attend elsewhere. This chick looks so cool. Majuna bint Majuna Alahid. Look at that! Look at that stare down she's got going on with the scroll in her hands. Okay. Okay, so we were just starting wars here, is why we can't start our culture change, which we desperately need. We desperately, desperately need. Samuel McKiriak can get married. He's an impressive individual. Very impressive individual. Agnes is unlanded. And unlikely to take anything over. And talented. Absolutely. This is the one for you, Samuel. Ah, inbreeding. Damn it. Um. Always with the inbreeding. Yulia. Eliodora. Well, uh, she's already pregnant, so no. Eliodora. And she's not going to take over. She's the third in line. Yes, let's do that one then. Samuel and Eliodora, 30 and 28 too, so the ages are perfect. Send the proposal. Okay. Uh, also, our heir, Queen Nana the Fair, has 57 prowess herself. So we also have a very impressive heir in combat. And then Chrysogenos, at the age of 14, is already at 21. I want to break this betrothal, but it doesn't look like I can... And we're just, so we can't just... I mean, I wouldn't have murdered her anyway, but I was just making a point. Um, because that seems like a lot. So I guess, I guess that's going to be Chrysogenos' wife. It is what it is. She's just got no talents. She's got no genius, no Herculean, no nothing. Oh well. Okay, so we've got all that taken care of. We're still waiting for Zoe to pass on so that her heir can take over and we can take the duchy away from her. Tati seems like she'll be great. So we're not doing that. A ton of artifacts have low durability. I'm not looking at that right now. Nope. We'll look at it later. Uh, disabled buildings. We're working on it. We hold too many duchies. Zanskar. I'll give away Zanskar. No worries. Absolutely no worries. Here you go. 
Enjoy. There, now we don't have too many duchies, so we got rid of that problem. What do our vassals think of us? Plus 12 from personal diplomacy. And I'm sure we have some kind of bonus from our previous ruler. Minus 20 from short reign. Opinion of predecessor. Plus 25, but that's going down 5 a year. Preferred heir for most people, too, is plus 30. Okay, good. So most of our vassals seem pretty happy with us, actually. Some of them are not, like, ecstatic, but they're still... <laughs> they're still better than zero, at least. I saw a negative somewhere, I thought. No, it must have been this plus two right here. Negative eight, King of Angelos of Macron. Unpreferred heir. Oh, well. Well, okay. We have all that. No available spouse. She's busy? Are you kidding me? Huh? Why? Damn it. So she doesn't even help. Oh my god. Whatever. Sure. Fine. Uh, we have no secrets that we know. We have a hook. We know he can marry. We're taking care of it already. Too few concubines. We're going to deal with that when we switch culture again. Because apparently, even though we're a monogamous religion, because we are a polygamous culture, things are a little messed up at the moment. Uh, council, everyone's doing the right thing. Our Heterie are way weaker than they should be. Jesus. And only 15? We need to switch cultures ASAP. Let's get these tiny wars out of the way so we can move on. She's no longer a lady in waiting. Okay. Food taster. Go ahead, Prince Samuel Makiriak, my son. And how is succession looking in case something happens? Look at the primogeniture line of succession. I forgot this happened. I have no idea how that happened. Uncle Pantheon created an independence faction at plus 22, really. We have a lot of money we can make people happy with. I'm just saying. And King Ricardos, my uncle, also. Go away. If, if, if it's what it takes, then, you know, we'll do what it takes. We've got tons of money. We can use that to our advantage. Look at our income right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we got a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen's a dank. You're always a problem, aren't you? You're always a problem. Oh, man, I want to say you guys left some really good comments on the last episode, and I really appreciate it. You became the culture head of Gaelic? I don't want to be the culture head of Gaelic. Alright, that's not a good thing. Caraway, stop. All of you, stop. Here's money. Leave me alone. Let me settle into the throne here. We gotta take care of some things. To the handsome high priest Petros of the Roman Empire, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Excellent. I'd be, I, I, per, I suppose I could start swaying people, like, right now. Let's get the swaying. Look at how small our military is. There's nobody, because we're over vassal limit. Oh my god. We need to get this war done ASAP. These wars were ill-advised. Wow, wow, wow. These were really ill-advised. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. We need to get our, um culture switched as soon as possible. Royal Court Granger's 10. It should have been all along, but okay. Fair enough. Oh my god, there's so many people that are upset. Stop. All of you. I know, I'm trying to deal with the vassal limit. I really am, I promise. But these... Oh god, I should never have declared these wars.
Never should have happened. Just send all the money out and try to delay as long as we can. We just need to delay, delay, delay until this culture is switched over. Damn it, Petros. Why can you not switch culture in the middle of a war? That makes no sense. Okay. How's it looking now? We're getting rid of some, but there's still way too much there. Holy gods. Okay, you are a problem. Uh, your air is hell. Why do you hate me so much? Negative 30 for what? Are you serious? I'm gonna have to give him the good stuff. Holy Banner of Muhammad? He might appreciate that. Uh, it was only plus 30. I can do better than that with it. Uh, it was worth a shot, though. I can do better than that with money. Wait! Those gifts work together? Received artifact and gift work individually of each other. I did not know that. That is wonderful information. Spectacular information. Even. Oh my god, we have... Were we not paused? What just happened? I thought we were paused. Wait, what? I thought we were paused. Baroness Eustina. Okay. God, it's gonna take three months for them to get there. Okay, one war done. Wrap it up, so be it. Three to set. Oh my god, we don't have a leader here. We'll lead it ourselves. Okay, we gotta we gotta we gotta settle things here. We gotta get things settled and happy for everybody. This fast limit thing is bad. Okay, good. We were able to sway enough people. Oh, now we have a different one over here. Different independence faction. All right, that'll make him happy. King Pantheon was already working on. David the Wolf. We have not sent him money yet. There you are. King Hanelin. King Yoins. All right. We're spending a bunch of money on our vassals right now, but had to be done. Okay, good. One is gone. Demand artifacts. Um... He'll become the owner of that? Absolutely. Take it, please. I don't need it. A snake at court. Oh my god, what happened here? Oh, Oh God! Get the Great Pox out! We need a new royal architect. People are vacating our positions like crazy. Stop leaving me! Please! Uh, they're both too old. Queen Chrysogeny of Bulgaria, please take over. Himerios, yeah. Okay. Daria Muz. Duke Alexeia, I found you more land. You're welcome. Duchess Alexeia, you know what I meant. Okay, another organization. Okay. Egyptian Ashari populace in six months. Oh my god, and these populace in 13. Damn it, I should never have declared these wars. Damn it. Maybe if we win this battle hard enough, that'll set things straight. Martial perk, enduring hardships. Casca's under siege. Baron and Athanasios. High Priest Megara was really good at declaring wars, wasn't she? <laughs> A little too good at it. Okay, as long as Kimmick is still in one piece, yeah. Baroness Eulalia. Come on now. Is it really gonna take this long? Seriously? See, just don't take that long anymore, guys. Speed it up. Let's go. Can't be spending that much time on sieges. Go and sell him off and then end the war. There we go. May your years be short and miserable. Thanks for getting Duchess Alexia more land. Four months. Can I win the war in four months? Damn it. 
Oh, he's already grayed by the time we took over. King Hamlin now speaks Greek. Good. Great Moravia should have been speaking Greek a while ago, though, to be fair. Come on, come on. We need to get our culture switched over. Please let us capture their leader right here. This is so crucial to speed this up. Three months. We don't have three months. Mayor Pavlos. Capture their leader. He's right there. Go get him. Yes! That's huge! Well done! Well done! Petros himself led that battle and said we need to get their ruler. Make it so. 5 to 820. Queen Euphemia started the Euphemi house. She named it after herself. Wow. Deception is renowned. Wow. That's... Okay, that's a branch of a branch. That's something. We're almost up to 200 renown a month. Cooking. Mayor Ashaprand. Good. Come on. How long till this is over? 23 days? Two months. Mayor Irene. I normally wouldn't do this, but every day counts right now. Storm that thing down. Come on. Okay, end the war. So be it. Disband everybody. Make the kingdom of Daria Muz. Can't usurp it yet. And we only have 9 out of 10 counties, so we couldn't do it anyway. Whoops. Alexeia. What? Alexeia. What? Alexeia. There we go. Broken record. Now, we can convert to local culture. I acknowledge who I am. You adopt the Hellenic culture, and every close family member sharing your culture adopts the Hellenic culture. Good. We're Hellenic now. That's how things should be. Which means the vassal limit has been taken care of. Not by much, but it has been. And that's massive. Okay, everything's under control again. We've got the huge military, so now these guys are going to have to give up because they are not strong enough. That'll update in a sec. Okay. Alright, okay. That was something we had to move past. But we did. We're all going to be alright. What's going on? Saucy readings. Lastly, I... Oh, I, I remember this from the beginning of the game. Lately, I can't help but notice the gaggles of giggle, giggling maidens and usually austere warriors gathering in dark alcoves to listen in rapture to a book. Today, I've finally cor cornered Helene with the book in her hands. Despite its cover suggesting a pious book of prayers, it is a licentious novel written centuries ago by our pagan forefathers. It's a beautiful maiden, pirates, temptations, and lustful pages upon pages filled with unholy desires. <laughs> uh, juicy. Make it disappear and I'll pretend I saw nothing. Um, this option is due to your, available due to your high learning skill. Are we that good? 22? We'll take it. Culture comes in any form. Let them read. I wouldn't say that's that high, but we'll take it. Yeah, she's about to get deposed as the ruler of Hellenic. Um, Warriors by Merit's happening in 20 years. Urbanization's done in three. Byzantians should be suffering the penalty now, shouldn't it? Yeah, the development penalty should be happening here. Unwanted culture. Uh, feasts. Once we declare our next war, let's hold one. Okay, let me make sure the faction stuff happens before I start declaring wars. Ten days without blame, yet our consequences could be dire. Yeah. Sorry. That's messed up, but it is what it is. Come on now. Update update with our military. Recognize the situation, please. There it goes. Still at 52%? I won't lie. That's still more than I thought they'd have. But at least now it's updated to the point where there won't be a war yet. It's pretty impressive, actually. They're pretty confident. They want it. 
All right, Zaporizhia, I said we were going to subjugate, and subjugate we shall. You can only do one subjugation war in a lifetime. That's all right. This is a perfect subjugation war. Get her underneath our helm. Our men at arms should be prepared and ready to go. There's a bridge right there. Perfect. And we should gather pretty quick because we're very near the capital. Let us subjugate Despotissa Eugenia and make her a part of the Roman Empire, whether she wants to be or not. In nine days, we will make our move. It took a long time for me to realize it's how close you are to the capital that determines a lot of, you know, how long it takes for it to gather. Okay, now our Hateria are way better because we're actually... Because we're actually... Oh! <laughs> because we're actually part of the right culture. Nana and Petros are absolute units in combat. I just want to say. Wow. 65 on her and 73 on him. With that effectiveness? Yeah, she's insane. Our heir? Despotissa Nana the Fair of Italy? Oh, she's going to go places. Alright, now that we've declared our war, let's host our feast. In Byzantium. Uh-huh. With an honorary guest of... Who do we want to do first? Um... None of them, I guess. None of them are, like, screaming my name here. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just start the feast. Oh! I didn't change whatever was over here. Good thing we're not going anywhere. But I think I missed out on my chance to train some knights. And that's my bad. What did she do? She's a dynastic kinslayer and prisoner. You can't just get away with that. Alright, who's leading this? Justice. Now pay the price. 200 gold it is. That's an expensive price. Yeah, we're in our feast. And apparently they're busy commanding other armies? Interesting. Go get them. Forder and aggressive attacker aren't bad traits to have. Except, how tough are they? 10,435. Where's all that military might I'm hearing about? Eight days... Okay, I'd rather not fight on top of their capital if I didn't have to. Yeah, hold up. Let's go over here. Let's not give them more defensive advantage than we need to. Let's have them bring the fight to us right here. Come on, then. No defensive advantage for you. Let's duke it out. Despotissa Pavlina of Estonia. Thank you for leading the day here. A plus 25 advantage in this war. Or in this battle. Good to have. Our Heterie are more plentiful and way stronger. 98% damage is still plenty of damage for these cataphracts that have 252 damage. Yeah. We're gonna take off. Absolutely wreck them. Ta-da. 92 to 10,420. Almost 100 deaths. More than we usually suffer, but not the end of the world there. Definitely not after, you know, we win anyway. Mayor Nicodemos. Alright, go hit the capital up now that we have that 50%. The subjugation war will show that they are ours. Despot Pantheon. Pantheon. He came back and gave us 200 gold. That's more than we gave him to make him like us. That's great. I accept your generous gifts and all that renown. Over a month's worth. Mayor Antonios. Mayor Wolfram. The stolen keg. Oh, am I raising my granddaughter? Got it. Okay, so she's already fickle, fickle and temperate. I caught these two hiding in the pantry. A very irate cook shouts at me, dragging my granddaughter Kyriak and Dangy in tow. They stole a whole keg of mead, and Kyriak just sat there as Dangy drank herself into near oblivion. She says angrily, <laughs> Dangy's 13, what are y'all doing? It seems as if my ward protected her partner in crime, keeping a lookout while abstaining from any drink herself. It's very good of you to abstain from the drink. Temperate is a great trait to have. What is she trying to do? Stewardship? 
Oh my god, that's a brilliant trait. Ooh, Diligent is also really good. Wow. But yeah, go with Temperate. That's a great trait. It doesn't cost us any stress. Looks good to me. Because we have stress problems. We have double stress gain from being paranoid. Which means this feast will really help us bring our stress down. I can see why Petro Petros has Drunkard and Reclusive from getting high stress in the past. Because double stress gain is a lot of stress gain. Lunatic is kind of a problem too. <laughs> for obvious reasons. 73%. Mayor Diogenes. Okay. It feels like we're finally having getting things back in Oh. Back in business. Now known as the hammer? My high priest, have you heard what they call you? My courtier Don Chad says to me while spreading his arms. They now call you High Priest Petros the Hammer. Spectacular, is it not? It's on the lips of peasant and noble alike. A cause for celebration, I think, Don Chad exclaims with a cheery tone. I could get used to this name. Wow. High, High Priest Petros the Hammer. Sounds good. We can rock that for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. The hammer. High Priest Petros bringing the hammer down. Prisoners to ransom. Whoops. I can arrest another person? What are y'all doing? A dynastic Kinslayer. Yeah, sorry, but you guys can't keep doing this. Stop killing our family. I know it's it's getting harder because there's almost 3,000 of us on this world. Basically ruling it from different corners. But even if there's 3,000 3, of us, you can't murder people of our dynasty. Now pay the price. Except a neighboring ruler lost war. I lo got a lot of sisters and nephews in prison there. Malik Zur lost against your vassal Countess Helen for the Sheikdom of Avero. Hey, good. They took that on their own. Well done, guys. Well done. We're about to jump over 1,800 counties when we win the subjugation war, too. A scheme at court. We do not yet know who someone's plotting against my courtier, Ook. And he's not a bastard, so I'm not sure why he's getting against. Interesting on that one. Is it because he's not DR Jihad? Why are we sieging so slow lately? Has the world just gotten tougher to siege? Probably. Yeah, Peacemaker kicked in. Nice. I forgot that we would also have that on Petros. That's nice. There you have it. <clears throat> Greetings, my modest liege. May you live in harmony and contentment. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Alright, Eugenia. Welcome to the Roman Empire. And that spikes us all the way to 1839 counties. Other than, like, the very occasional, like, Eastland over here. Little, tiny little entities. Everything west of this point is now taken care of. <laughs> we are getting there. Mayor Germanos. Okay. So there are some entities here we could take in Mordvinia. And now that we're actually directly next to it, we can actually do that. Oh, we gotta disband. It does. Oh, we can't declare wars till the feast anyway. Alright, well, three months of chilling then. We're at 101 vassals! <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna have to use that vassal limit book soon just to get four more vassals together. There we go. Okay, Helen became a better court physician, that's good. 34 dread. Our natural dread is 35, really. Huh. Interesting. Go ahead, go ahead, and go ahead. Are there ransoms? I hadn't... Oh, yeah, there are ransoms I hadn't done yet. My bad. That's why these are happening. I was like, what? Mayor Baron Genadios, thank you. Mayor Apollonia, thank you. But you can see what happens when you go over the vassal limit. It gets bad fast. Basically, 
you lose the ability to manage your vassals. They don't listen anymore. There's too many. So, we definitely have an issue. Another branch. Arjiad Burn with the sword I stand by the persevering. And it's his own branch. It's just him. That's probably going to die out pretty soon. I don't know why you bothered trying. Just seeing if any of these are ones we need to keep while we're waiting on the feast to happen. I thought about that one. The guests are gathered in the great hall. Lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. The pleading gaze I received from my vassal Adrienne is taking on a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching the corner she's hidden in all evening. <laughs> uh, Adrienne, I need to talk to you in private. You grow closer to forming a friendship with Baroness Adrienne. You spend prestige, which is fine. We have tons of it. Get a weak hook on her. We lose stress because we're reclusive and she gets friendly. Nice. Wow, reclusive actually came in handy for once. Would you look at that? Mayor Chrysanthos, Mayor Constantia. Ah, is there anything more jovial than a good feast? Guests throng to and fro, eating and chatting while flickering torchlight plays off every wall. Um, we are a level 1 hunter with 18 experience. Have we never been to a feast before? Is this literally going to be our first feast? What? Wow. Okay. We're learning more about Petros here. Good folk to mingle with here. Yeah, we already had the stress relief, so we're good. My dear wife, Tazdate, has been working hard to ensure that everything about the feast goes smoothly. The food arrives on time, the guests are all seated in the right place, and everyone seems content. With Tazdate be beside me at the great table... Ooh, she was overjoyed with the amount of saffron cakes. You're welcome. Uh, everything is ready. I squeeze her hand and smile at her before rising to announce the start of the celebrations. What would I have done without her? Household efforts for five years. Direct vassal opinion plus five and courtier opinion plus ten. Sure. Sounds good to me. Uh, we're back down to fine health. We are 58, to be fair. And and fine health isn't even that low, to be honest. Petros is the current ruler of the restored Roman Empire and commands the respect of an office of such magnitude as due. So all of our Roman emperors get this. We didn't know that yet. That's really cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Oh! Fine Galen. No, we have a lot of medium health boosts. That's fine that I skipped that one. Um, but I'm not going to keep doing this without moving time forward, so let's keep going. It's fun that we got a redhead in the family at one point. Paranoid does not increase stress loss. Okay. Damn. I was seeing if it at least increased stress loss, but it does not. It does not. We need to go on a, uh, a pilgrimage, too. Rust 2, no, it's too expensive. Because we haven't been on a pilgrimage with this guy yet. A child of our dynasty. My daughter-in-law, Eliodora, has given birth to a daughter. Speaking of which, we've kind of been waiting for this. She's a beautiful genius with a robust physicality. Of course, we must name her Zenobia. After High Priest Megara's best friend, who stood with her to the very end. S set up a surprise 95th year birthday. Held her hand and always stayed by her side while she was infirm. Honor to you, Zenobia. Thank you for what you did for High Priest Megara. And this absolute fantastic granddaughter, we'll pin her, is going to live up to her her to her namesake. Zenobia Argiad Routes. Can I educate this child? I can. I'm going to. In honor of Zenobia. Alright, back to the feast. What right does Despotissa Xenia think she has to claim that my ideas of warfare are misguided? Claim that my ideas will break down the moment combat is met? What does she know, really? She's got 19 to art to 24. We're not a lot better than her, but... I'd love a chance to settle this on the battlefield. At least Xenia showed you that you were able to defend your understanding of the martial lifestyle. You gained discussions on strategy. Maximum battle roll plus 5. An army movement speed, 10%. Nice. And 100 martial lifestyle experience. That went really well. I like that. Oh, hit play, sorry. I'm just working through this slowly but surely. We're gonna power through. We're through most of the stuff. Okay. And with that, it's all done. You'll not lose stress since you are shy? No, I'm not. I'm not.
Because we're reclusive? Oh, man. Oh, come on. Well, it's a good thing I lost stress in other ways because that could have been really bad. Whoa, whoa. Did you see that? What was that? There was some kind of artifact that gave plus 10 vassal limit. Was it a trinket or something? Or was it a book? Plus 10 vassal limits, a lot of vassal limit. Hold up now. I'm gonna have to go look back at the recording and I will find it later. But I'm definitely gonna have to um, grab that, whatever it is. Cause 10 vassal limit, like we said, that's a lot. I'm glad we went through these items now, because now we know that that item exists. Somewhere. I don't know what it is for. And I don't know what type of item it is. But whatever it is, we need to use it to get that 10 Vassal in it. Because that's really going to be our n number one thing that stops us in this playthrough. We're at 101 Vassals. It doesn't seem to be in here. No, it isn't. Okay. It's probably a book, if I had to guess. Anyway, that war is now that we were going to declare, but we were waiting for the feast to be over. Wow, there's no bridge anywhere near this. Look at that. All that, no bridge. What? Why? Alright. You guys, I need your kingdom. Because the duchy... Yeah, I need your kingdom. Thank you very much. 600 piety? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to go on a pilgrimage like as soon as we declare these wars. Because this is ridiculous. Let's declare war on Alania instead, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Because we need to, we need to get some piety generation going first. Right now we're getting 10 a month because of our highometer and all that, but... Yeah, okay. Conquer Duchy. 540 prestige. We have prestige all day. 15 days and we can make our move on the capital. Alright. That's not going to last very long, but we might as well do our pilgrimage. The pious one. It doesn't have to be a big one. Okay, plus three, plus three, plus three... Plus three. Plus. Th okay. Let's go to Alexandria. We will hire experienced captains, of course, and train our knights. Circumspect. What? Superior mounts. That's cool. Train your knights, yeah. Total travel time will be eight months. Like, there and back, or just to get there? That's a lot of time. I guess we're about to find out. None of them are that much faster. This guy's better, though, for sure. Hold up. Yeah, replace. Alright, I guess. Let's do it. Five months till it begins. All right. Pilgrimage of fresh start. All the while preparing for my journey, I've had this sense of serenity and knowing that everything will be all right. I'm pleased to embark on this pilgrimage to Alexandria and in order to get even closer to Zeus. And now more than ever, I feel certain that we will watch over me in my travels. Well, let's get to it, I guess. Sounds like it's going to be eight months of travel if you count there and back together. I'm safe for 40 prowess. Reflections on the starry skies. Out here late at night, I sometimes look to the stars and wonder, what is our purpose in life? Can the gods even see me this far from home? What am I doing all this for? Uh, what I truly want is to enjoy and experience other cultures? No. It's my sacred duty, of course. Pilgrims becomes more pious and dedicate a pilgrim for that monthly piety for ten years. Absolutely. Let's get it going. I'm also going to take Bellum Justum next, because we really need to get that. Feast under your name. What a wondrous feast that was. Such a shame that Despot Zenobius didn't get to see it. Some of the attendees recalled the memory of my promised feast to him and spoke warmly of my dedication to my court's entertainment. 
Um, some assume that the celebration was also dedicated in memory to Zenobios. Either way, keeping my promise has in turn yielded be the benefit of ne everyone attending speaking highly of my court. Another cup in his name. I didn't even realize he had died. My bad. Drag himself to death. How, s how fitting. Yeah, another cup in his name then. Absolutely. My family, um, actually, we lost our grandpa to, uh, I lost my grandpa, I should say, to drinking. And, um, to keep it lighthearted, uh, <laughs> When we're out drinking or whatever, or we're having, we're at a party and everyone's got their drinks out and all that, everybody makes sure they have their final final, which is, so it's not their final drink, it's their final final drink. They have one more drink after they normally would be done, uh, in, in honor to my grandpa, because he would always talk about how his next drink would be his final final, and it almost never was, hence why he's not here today, but I miss that guy. Sevedi Under Siege, Reflections, A Calm Clearing. Out here at sea, when the weather is calm and not a ship is to be seen on the horizon, the peace and quiet is overwhelming. Zeus's presence is particularly strong here, and it fills me to the brim. Perhaps we should seize the opportunity for quiet contemplation by lingering in this bay just a while longer. This is Zeus's will. Delay by ten days to gain a hundred piety and become more pious? Yeah. Yes, please. Bellum Justum. That'll be big. Then we'll be able to afford a lot more wars that way. Captain Romanos, Mayor Petronia, thank you guys. Must stop the villain behind this. Alright, I'm too curious. Was it a book? I gotta know. I gotta know. Uh, was it a 10 vassal book? Oh, there's a 6 vassal limit book. We have vassal limit books that I just haven't been paying attention to, I suppose. There's the 4 book. Um, there was one that said 10, though. That's like so many vassals. There's another plus four book. I mean, soon we're going to get that legacy perk that gives us 10 more, too, but... It'd be really good to have a 10 vassal limit book. Somewhere. Four again. There's a lot of four books if I need those. But we won't, as far as I'm aware. Was it not a book? I wonder if I messed that up. Vassal limit four. I guess it wasn't a book. Snake court. You fornicator! Yeah! Would you just call my daughter, you fornicate? You going after my daughter? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Mayor Serapian. You deceitful, lustful, impatient man. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. I don't think so. I wish I could challenge you to combat. What was the 10 va- or was it not 10 vassal limit? It was something else. I just thought it was a 10 vassal limit. Am I crazy? I could be crazy. Wouldn't put it past me. <laughs> Wouldn't put it past me. Yeah, go get that. Scheme at court. Adalbert is- okay. Hang in there, Adalbert. We'll figure it out. Travel derelict ship. Oh boy. Uh, he's paranoid. I don't think he would do that. Wouldn't he be scared? Yeah, he, you'd get 80 stress because of paranoid. Exactly. No. Yeah. There's nothing but death that way. We've seen this before. Um, basically, yeah, the sea is calm and forgiving today, but... Uh, we see the mangled corpse of a ship buried nose first into some jagged rocks just ahead. Uh, don't appear to be survivors, yet I feel compelled to go investigate this mysterious wreck. We're not gonna do it. <laughs> no. It's 100% not what Petros would do. 80 stress means he would really not do it. That's almost a whole stress level from one decision. No, that's that's not the way Petros rolls. He is not the fearless, he is the hammer. Very different. Merleotius. It was Count Christopher that was after... That's a fun way to spell Christopher. That was after Adalbert. Is he giving up now? No, even after even after we know about it, it's still a 38% chance of success, so... He's sticking with it, it looks like. Huh. Mayor Rasul. We made it. And we already have a 23 score before we even got here. That's great. I'm finally here, body and soul, at the Great Temple of Alexandria. As the Flamen offers me blessings, I reflect on everything that had to happen for the gods to bring me here at this moment in time. Stewardship ex lifestyle experience for going to Alexandria, sure. I have walked the holy path. You gain a trait pilgrim. Which isn't working because we don't have the DLC, but you know, whatever. 
We'll take it. The echo of my footsteps is the only sound in the temple. I am alone. The last thing I remember from the outside world is the face of those beggars near the gates, and the blue, blue sky, so distant now. I walk towards the altar knowing that it's only me, and yet I feel under an unyielding scrutiny. The severe eyes of Zeus are always wide open. Should make an offering. Pilgrimage becomes more pious. Time to pray. 20 trade experience in the pilgrim trade. That's a lot. You lose the renowned antelope hide. Yeah, give it up. Okay, we reached level 1. We got solitary prayer for another 100 piety. 33 score. This is Level 2 is the highest we ever got with um, Megara for whatever reason. Wow, we're getting <laughs> piety everywhere. This top right, a bunch of stuff is happening. Bonded over this shared spiritual journey. Yo, the amount of... What? Setsu now speaks Greek. Nice. I need to start swaying somebody else, don't I? Are we a witch? We are a witch. Let's convert people to witchcraft. Uh, you're not a witch. Marcos. I, I can't sweet, convince you to be a witch. I guess somebody already failed turning you over. Eugenios. You either. What is going on? We need more witches in the family. Procopios, my man. Witchdom? No? Damn it. Who's out here, like, messing up? Wow, look at that. He's actually got everything. Herculean, genius, beautiful, and fecund. He's got the whole setup. Oh my god. And Irene's almost got it all. Persia, huh? Persia's on top of the world right now. Good on them. Okay, strong arm. Jesus, I can't convince anybody to be a witch with us. That's so interesting. What's our coven at right now? 29.88%. We're halfway there, basically. Huh. Interesting. Sorry, I was distracted, obviously. The Pilgrim's Guide. The markets of Alexandria are bustling with merchants shouting in languages that I've never heard and selling spices that I've never tasted. The Guide of the Pilgrim. Learn the safest routes, discover the marvels of Alexandria. One of the meals waving a small book in my direction. I'll take one. Let me take a look. Ah, and if you take this in turn, your pilgrimage becomes more pious. You gain local expert for 10 years. 80% chance that nothing happens. 20% chance that you increase your diplomacy by one. And the pilgrimage be gains local expert for travel safety. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. We'll give it a go. Nana got the aspiring. Oh. What happened to our prowess? It was just like 65. How'd it go down so much? She got aspiring blade master. What happened? She lost so much prowess. I'm very curious what happened. That's a warp. Thank you, so be it. Which kingdom is this? Caucas Caucasus. Yoanes. These are your lands. By right. Underneath our underneath us, of course, but your lands nonetheless. I'm assuming I cannot declare war right now. No. We're already at an activity. Fair enough. Mayor Azim. Mayor Matheos. Mayor Ronwin. Solitary prayer. A pilgrim puts down a votive doll before the altar, bowing her head. I see Theodosius blessing her, muttering something in her ear. Holy, I imagine to hear. The flamen makes a gesture. Do you also bring something to have blessed, dear Basilios? Dear Basilius. Um, this is the only way to make the pilgrims more pious, so please make my high priest Megara's plate armor more pious. The durability increased by 10 and it gains 2% monthly piety. What? We just increased... We just made this better? For 15 gold? Are you serious? Wow, and that made us to Paragon of Virtue. Look at that. Would you look at that? High Priest Megara. High Priest Megara's holy armor. Holy plate. Let's make it holy armor. High Priest Megara's holy armor. That's so good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Mayor Akakios, Mayor Marquia, and Mayor Inokientios. We got to level 2. That's the best we've ever done. 
Well, it's tied for the best we've ever done. I don't know how you're supposed to get it to three. That's so much. Bro, Dionysia, why do you have all these guys after you? You're married. What is... What are they doing? You let her get out. Leave my daughter alone. What is happening? The antiquarian died. Rip. Alexandria, it has been an honor. 633 uh, piety. Time to start my journey back home. All right. As our time at the sacred site draws to an end, I'm satisfied in knowing that most, if not all, of my decisions throughout a respectable and well-paced journey has been taken to prove my devotion to the Thunderer and Greco-Roman. This being my first pilgrimage, and while no pilgrimage is exactly alike, I feel confident that I am more familiar with what to expect from this type of spiritual journey in the future. Finish pilgrimage. Alright, we got a lot of stuff to accept. Captain Murden, Mayor Isidoros, Mayor Lazaros, Mayor Trianos, Mayor Pablos, and Captain Bori. How about now? Aha! On the way back we can declare war as... That is good to know. Okay, now we've got Bellum Justum and Plenty of Piety, so we can go ahead and do what we were going to do. I hate it when it does that. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I hate it when it does that. Alright guys, give me your chunk. And I'll have to take Voronezh afterwards, I guess. In 19 days, we make our move. Wow, really? The supply limit couldn't handle us being in the same spot, huh? Supply limits over here must be pretty bad. Not ideal, but okay. Oh, it's paused. Couldn't see because of the banner. Allies joining the war, go for it. Mayor Magistos. Alright, who's leading this? Duchess Gregoria and Duchess Margarita the Beautiful. Kalaniko should lead that. Plus 45. Get him out of here. Goodbye. Mayor Chosky, thank you. 3 to 1668. Easy enough. Someone's going after... <laughs> a lot of people going after Adalbert. Apparently he's the guy to pick on. Oh my god, all the trebuchets got with one army. Demetrios getting picked on too. Damn, guys. Apparently you guys are easy to bully. What's going on here? There, now you guys have trebuchets. Which you should have already had, but fair enough. When a feud broke out between House Argiad Itos and House the Argiad? No way! There's a... There's a feud between our branch house and our own? King Kaya speaks Freak of Permia. Good. That's so odd. But okay. Alright, for all the real ones out there, though. Let's go learn Telugu. <laughs> let's go! Get the language going. Maharaja Jogama the second. Kind of cool. I don't like him. Baroness Zenobia. Mayor Nicodemos. Mayor Hypatia. Vassal Prince Maria, created the Cadet Branch, and Marchop Sabos. God, she is a bad person. Branch of a branch. Liberty without wrath. Might improve. Siege 1. On to the next target. It's going to take a month and a half just to get there. Jeez. Oh my god, that's not a spot to siege. I'm an idiot. I'm... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I thought that was a... Oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> there it is. Visited the capital of the Roman Empire for 600 martial lifestyle experience. That's where we live, but good. I'm glad. The return. My journey has been a long one, but I have finally come home again. While much remains the same, something has changed in how the Flamans treat me. 200 learning lifestyle experience for Hagia Sophia, okay. I've undergone the journey of a holy man, and they insist it has changed something about me whether I can see it myself or not. It's good to be home. Alright, now we can take prepared conscription. Army gold maintenance goes down. And there it is! 
Assertive rulers. Plus 10 vassal limit. Thank goodness. That's going to help, you know, prolong our problems. And by prolong, I mean, you know, hold them back for a little bit longer. And less likely to have factions are great. <clears throat> now we just need righteousness for 10 general opinion, which will always be good in two sway schemes. There you go. Now we're at 99 of 114. That's so much better. 15 vassals to grow. That's so much better. Mayor Chrysanthos, there you go. Um, no, we don't need it. Ah! Oh! That was a brand new thing. I thought it, those, those artifact things pop up all the time. I thought it was just another one of those. Shoot, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I messed that up. That one's on me. I don't know what we just did. But we were we said somebody broke it. So I guess I guess that thing broke. My bad. Damn it. Yeah, I messed that up. That's my fault. It was neither of the ones we actually use in the uh, room though. So at least we got that going for us. That's my bad. My bad. That's on me, my B. Mary Euphrosina. Thank you. Baroness a Anastasia. Alright, I'd say this was a pretty successful episode. We got things settled. We're all nice and comfy now. They're running away, huh? And, um, we got High Priest Petros, the hammer, all set up and ready to go. So he'll be able to take over from here on out. Uh, he's probably got a good 15, 20 years in him before we take over as Nana the Italy. Who will probably have a good 15, 20 years in her. So... When, when we take over, we'll see. Thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey with the Crusader Kings 3 with the Argyad Dynasty. We're 264 years in, and this is what the world looks like. There's a cadet branch again. Daughter of the Lion. Thank you again so much, and I'll see all of you with the hammer next time.